M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So yeah, we're looking at the Open Spot 3 here. Thought I'd show you some uh, some cross moding, see what you think about it. So the Open Spot 4 is out, so it makes sense to get the new model. Um, but I've got the Open Spot 3. And you can hear it's connected now. It's actually cross moding from D Star to DMR. So I, I do it the very simple way. So I'll show you how my way is. You got here on. Uh, on Browmaster, but let's show you how we got there. So you click Quick Setup. Remember that the Open Spot 3 has got a battery inside it. You can put it in your pocket. You can pair it to your mobile phone, and you're on the internet. So we're using a D-Star radio. So the first thing you do is click D-Star. Then you you select the frequency which I've put into my radio. Now I've got it in DR mode, but you can program it as a normal memory channel. Just remember, it's a simplex channel uh, with a zero shift. It's plus or minus, but it's a zero shift. Then you click uh, where you want it to go. So I want it to go to Brandmeister. Then you put, you've got your DMR ID, you've got your call sign. Now remember your password for self-care. Get that in there. Just go Brandmeister self-care into Google and you'll find that. And you can create a password, which I've put here. And then now you're going to choose the talk group. So I like to choose worldwide, but... You can choose, you know, hundreds of talk groups. You don't have to choose them. And even servers, look, all these different servers around the world. I'm using the United Kingdom one. Then click Connect. Open spot connected to Brand Meister 2, 3, 4, 1. Link static talk groups 9, 1, and 2, 3, 5, you hear 0, that? and 2, and it's going to show you all the different places it's also connected. Right, okay, so that's D star to Brandmeister. Now let's do D star to C4FM. Now remember, if, you, if I was using a C4FM, then I would start off by selecting a C4FM radio. But anyway, we're on a D star radio, so you click Quick Setup. Now if I was using, say, a FT5, I would firstly choose C4FM, you see? But I'm not going to because I'm actually using a D-Star radio. So we go quick setup. I'm on a D-Star radio. And let's say I want to go to America Link. So we're going to look for YSF reflectors or FCS. So let's go to YSF reflector. And it's got CQ UK. But let's tick, click the grey tab here like so. And click and start to type America Link. And there are a few. Just to do the one here. US America Link. Okay. And then it's already got my call sign by default because we put that in on setup. Now click connect. Open spot connected to YSF reflector 32592. So that's it. We're now connected to America Link. So it's a D Star radio going to a fusion system. And you've got this nice long history here. And you can click on any station that's transmitted. So if I click here it will take you straight to QRZ. It's very cool. Now these, you know, you can't buy the Open Spot 3 new. You probably get one second hand for about £250. The new ones, if you go for the just the, pro, the Open Spot 4 model, are about, I think, about 300 to 350 delivered. Um, a bit more if you go for the pro version. Um, so I have a look out for some deals. I'm sure they'll advertise some. So let's do another one. Let's just do quick setup. And let's imagine we're on a DMR radio. So the first thing you would do is click DMR here. You go quick setup, DMR, and then once you click that, then you would go on to to where you want to go. So you can hear someone just transmitted then on uh, America Link. But we're going to do we're on a D Star radio, so we're going to go quick setup, D Star, and we're going to go to uh, let's have a look now. We we're going to do we've done DMR, haven't we? That's Brandmeister. We've done. YSF. So yeah, we could just go back, stay on what we are, which is D Star Reflector, and look Reflector One Charlie, and there's the module there, the C. My call sign's there. Click Connect, and you'll hear it connect to Reflector One Charlie. Now, if, if sometimes it, there's a lag, or it might not connect straight away for whatever reason. There could be someone speaking, so just be prepared every now and again to have a pause if that's happening. Obviously, it does. You know, with this system, you do have P25, NXDN. Pox sag, but never used that before. I think that's messaging. You have built in APRS as well, um, and APRS messaging, and there's so much more. And you've got your tabs along here. Stay Open spot, trying to connect the server. 
so it's trying to connect that's because probably because either I'm connected on another hotspot so if I unplug my other hotspot it might now connect so I could be on reflector one on another hotspot um, like I said connectors here loads of settings now here at the bottom interestingly there is a tab here at the bottom called advanced mode tab click that and you get lots of other settings that you can uh, right it's connected now zero zero one Charlie and that's a valid point because it shows that you can't connect two hotspots or two radios of your same call sign with on both connected to reflector one Charlie unless you've configured it in a certain way um, and have two I don't know D star DMR numbers but I don't think you can do that but anyway let me know if there is a way around it uh, modem here all your settings you can have profiles where you preset things but I don't I never use that I just think find it very long-winded but here it is configuration profile where you create one and it saves it and then you it's the idea is that you can use DTMF numbers and it, uh, a, see it here and then it'll just connect in straight away without you having to faff around with the quick setup method network there so so much more so yeah it's a great thing there's a built-in manual on this system as well look quick setup user manual shark rf link to find your hotspots to find if you can't find the ip address of this just type in this is what i do shark rf dot l i n k hit enter and it will find it for you as long as it's connected on the back of your open spot you have a special number put the number in here and hit connect or mine has saved it here on the PC and you can do that on your phone and look add to home screen as well it does that for you you know and connects you up so I hope this helps you um, you know look at the open spot 3 realize what a good good device it is open spot 4 and why you do pay three four hundred pound for these because you buy one hotspot you only need one radio you don't need C4, you don't need fusion radios, DMR, D Star. You just buy one radio and it will do everything. Even a budget DMR, 50 quid budget DMR radio will get you on all of the systems because of the Open Spot 3. And that's what everyone, that's what you pay for. So please, um, if you find this helpful, please uh, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. 7 3, all the best.